Hello everyone, welcome to Baiju's exam prep. So, as I told you in the last Coffee with Concept lecture, that uh, today means in the next lecture, we are going to learn about the new concept that is MAP and ML criteria. So, this is very, very important and every year the IIT asks the question from this particular topic. So, with the very small time, within the 5 to 10 minutes, we will try to learn this concept so that you can just... Uh, apply this on the question directly. So before starting this session, let me introduce myself. This is Sarkit Verma and I have been more than 12 year experience. And uh, I have done MTech from IIT Guwahati and I have taken different ASU exam as well. And I teach the subject of communication EMT, advanced communication since last 11 to 12 years and uh, signals and system and ICT also. And my telegram group, if you ask uh, to if you want to ask any more detail on this uh, particular topic and if you want to solve more questions on this topic then you can directly uh, join me in the telegram group and contact me through this telegram group okay so let's come to the topic whenever we receive the signal in the digital communication we calculated signal to noise ratio on the probability of error so at the end of the receiver because obviously we are not discussing whole receiver part. So at the end of every receiver, we are going to compare the sample signal with the pre-decided threshold. So this Z is our received signal, which is sampled. Okay, the signal which we have received in the receiver, after some processing, we are getting this signal Z, which is the sample of received signal. This sample of received signal Z is compared with the predetermined threshold value. So this is a threshold value by which we will compare. And when the received sample is greater than the threshold value, we will say the binary 1 was transmitted. And if the received signal is less than threshold value, then we will say the binary 0 was transmitted. You can take it as greater than equal to also. And you can take in the less than equal to. In any one of them, you can take the equal sign. So when the binary 1 is transmitted, when the one you have transmitted and you will take decision in favor of one, then obviously there is no error. So when the binary one is transmitted, no error will occur if you take decision in favor of one. That means when the Z is greater than equal to threshold. So when the error will occur, when you take the decision in favor of zero. So probability of receiving binary zero when binary one is transmitted is going to give you the probability of error. So that is what we are saying probability of receiving probability of receiving zero when one was transmitted. Okay. When one is transmitted. So how do you calculate this error? So you should have the probability density function of received signal. So F Z given one is probability density function of received signal z okay this is the probability density function of received signal z when one was transmitted so when the one is transmitted you will have pdf that will be given to you in the question so the pdf is given to you in the question for one now you have to integrate that pdf in the range of minus infinity to the threshold value because when you are going to take decision in favor of zero, when the z is less than threshold. When the z is less than threshold means minus infinity to threshold value, you have to integrate the PDF of 1. Similarly, when the binary 0 is transmitted, there will be no error if you take decision in favor of zero. That means when the z is less than threshold, there will be no error because you are going to take decision in favor of zero. But when the error will occur, when you will take decision in favor of 1. So what is the condition of receiving 1 when the z is greater than threshold? So you will get probability of receiving 1 when 0 is transmitted. Okay. When the 0 is transmitted by integrating the PDF of 0 pdf of 0 from threshold to plus infinity because you are going to take decision in favor of 1 when the z is greater than threshold. So, the lower limit is threshold 
and greater than that will go up to the infinity. So v threshold to infinity you have to integrate as that given. So once you calculate these two conditional probability, you have to put the value in the equation of probability of error that is average probability of error probability of 0 multiplied with probability of 1 given 0 plus probability of 1 multiplied with probability of 0 given 1. So what is the probability of 0 that is the probability that probability that binary 0 is transmitted. What is the probability of binary 0? That will be again given to you and probability of 1 will also be given to you. Okay. Now, how do you get the minimum probability of error? To calculate the minimum probability of error, you have to integrate it. Okay. You have to integrate it and uh, sorry, differentiate it and equate it to 0. So, we will differentiate this probability of 0 is we have to differentiate with respect to this. Uh, what is probability of 1 given 0? Vth to infinity f z given 0 dz. You have to integrate this plus probability of 1 d by dz of minus infinity to Vth probability of z given 1 d. So, this is 0 probability of 0 when you will integrate and after integrate means when you will differentiate this dz and this dz will get cancelled and this will be probability of z equal to infinity. Okay. Probability density function at z equal to infinity you can write like this also. z given 0 at z is equal to infinity minus minus because this is upper limit and lower limit z given 0 at z is equal to threshold plus I am writing here probability of 1 probability of uh, sorry then pdf of z given 1 at z is equal to threshold minus z given 1 at z is equal to minus okay this is equal to 0. So, the PDF at z is equal to infinity and z is equal to minus infinity is 0. So, PDF, the value of PDF at z is equal to infinity and minus infinity is 0 because this is for AWGN channel that is Gaussian. So, when it is a Gaussian PDF, so you can see that the Gaussian PDF is having the bell shaped curve. So, at infinity it is approaching to 0, at minus infinity also it is approaching to 0. So, at plus infinity and minus infinity it is 0. So, we are left with, we are left with 0 is equal to P probability of 0 with minus sign, probability minus sign probability of 0 F of Z given 0 at Z is equal to V threshold plus probability of 1 F of Z given 1 F of Z given 1 at Z is equal to Vth. So, after solving this probability of 0 f z given 0 at z is equal to v threshold is equal to probability of 1 and f of z given 1 at z is equal to v threshold. So, this is we are getting. Okay. So, this is the result to get the minimum probability of error. And the condition to get the minimum probability of error is known as MAP criteria. So, this is what we have written over here. Probability of 0, f of z given 0 at z is equal to vth. If it is greater than the probability of 1, f z given 1 at z is equal to vth. If this part is greater than this, then we take the decision in favor of binary 0 which is S2. Okay. And when the right hand side is greater than the left hand side, then because the probability of 1 is more, probability of 1 multiplied with f of z given 1 at z is equal to vth is more, then we take decision in favor of binary 1 that is S1. So, this is the more generalized form of the MAP criteria 
this we have calculated as the equal sign but the most generalized form is actually we have to compare with, with which is greater so the multiplication which will be greater according to that we have to take decision over of 1 and 0 then you will get the minimum probability of error which is known as maximum a posteriori criteria map criteria is maximum a posteriori criteria and you will call it as an ml criteria you will call it as a ml criteria if the probability of transmitting binary 0 and binary 1 are same then it is called as a ML criteria. When the probability of transmitting 0 and probability of transmitting 1 is same, then obviously this 2 will get cancelled and we will have only the PDF2 compare. We have only PDF2 compare or you can also equate it. So in this way, we calculate the minimum probability of error by using the map and ML criteria. So thank you for watching these concepts and we will learn more concepts in this short form in the upcoming coffee with concept classes. Thank you.